All right, click the links to join the channel here over at subscribe. Sorry, I got a mailbox. Want to mail me some comics or a cool new Cecil Cash Grab hat? Um, so uh, Brie Larson, Brie Larson's not looking. Her her Ms. Marvel movie or her Birds of Prey follow up movie is not looking too good. So everyone hates Brie Larson, Brie Cheese Thief Larson, because of her racist, sexist, istophobic, anti white comments. Uh, she gave some she was some stupid award ceremony and she just parroted all these stupid woke talking points that she's expected to say is she a horrible person yes i guess i guess she is a horrible person and she's hated for good reason plus her acting is rightly criticized as very wooden um or at least the stuff i've seen her in but thing is that might not actually be her fault that just could be what the director wants for that character i don't know why i would you'd want to be bored by captain super girl power I don't know why that's the direction they wanted to go in when you should have made her lighthearted and cute because she's a girl. And how are we expected to take a girl seriously? But instead they made her stoic and boring. Uh, when you already had, who's the Chris Evans guy playing Captain America who was already kind of the stiff character. So uh, you, you should have looked at Charlie's Angels from 2000 with Cameron Diaz and all the other chicks. And there's a scene when Cameron Diaz is, run, is uh, dancing around in her Spider-Man underwear you should have gone for that whole lighthearted theme for all the movie, for, for Brie Larson especially. It would have taken it in a completely different direction. Obviously, that's not Disney these days, but um, Disney is not... They Like, Disney seems... They're going in a very strange direction. Um, anyway, so to her credit, she does have a very fit body and wonderful bouncy soft milkers and i if i was disney i would have played up that i would have played all that you know sex appeal up but that's something about the male gaze and disney hates men especially men who love milkers which is about 98 percent of men so they put her in this stupid costume that covers everything up and, and those other two chicks i mean to be fair nobody cares about these other two chicks we'll call her uh, the fat face one uh, double chin and then the uh, five head one with the 70s Fro. I mean, you could have put all three of these chicks. I mean, it's a perfect Charlie's Angels name from, from 20 years ago. You could have put them all in sexy costumes and really played up the sex appeal. Um, but they didn't. They decided to go in this direction. Uh, good luck with uh, with that. And then they have that other chick, Ms. Marvel, who she's uh, looking pretty chubby these days. She should have been forced to drop like 20 pounds of fat or replaced. We can't have superheroes with double chins. If you're paid to be in Hollywood, you should be in shape, and Ms. Marvel's shape is looking around. The other chick is Monica Rambeau, and other than a few comic book nerds, nobody even knows about her, nobody cares about her. Her other actors don't even care about her. They probably forgot her name on set and asked her to bring her some coffee. It's like, oh, can I, you say you're in this movie? Yeah, we just had a scene together. Oh, but can I get that coffee anyway? The diversity is the weakest part of this crappy movie, as it is in, in pretty much everything. They should have learned from Birds of Prey, where that was a bunch of 40-year-old grandmas who were running around beating up men. It was really stupid. And Harley Quinn, who's known for... The only thing she's known for is booty shorts and a tank top and being the sexy Harley Quinn. And they covered her up. All Margot Robbie has... has When you word association, it's like, oh, nice body, and that's kind of all I remember about her. And so we're going to put her in a, a big a big caution that covers everything up and the movie bombed because you didn't know your audience. No, we're going for like a female audience. Women don't see these kind of movies. Oh, but we'll chase away the old audience and the new audience will materialize, but they never do. So uh, I guess double down on this. We'll make it up in volume. This is a case where they should have race swapped her for a hot Swedish girl and the fat Ms. Marvel also. It's time for race swapping to go the other way because that's what people want. We need way more hot blue-eyed blondes and much less of this other stuff. And it's not just me being istophobic and sexy saying this. Yeah, it's a sexy cover. No, sexist. <laughs> oh, Fran Dressler. What a great movie Spinal Tap was. This stuff is not selling. People love blondes. Smell the glove for a reason. And uh, who's that guy, that Ry Reiner, the guy who made the movie? What a fat soy boy he turned out to be. <laughs> they're um, they're the best. Dark hair. Uh, oh, I better not say that. Someone might. But YouTube doesn't have a sense of humor anymore. I I'm just saying that, you know, people around the world really like you know, light eyes, blonde hair. It's like it's it it sells to the biggest biggest audience. Um, so only Hollywood is saying that they like all this diverse kind of cancer and and a bunch of fat cat, cat ladies on Twitter who don't go see action adventure movies. Hey, Elizabeth Banks, how well that movie did? It's not for men. 
men, please watch my movie. It lost $20 million. This stuff doesn't sell, but they don't care. They make bombs, and then they attack the audience. Uh, who is that Obi-Wan Kenobi guy? I forget the actor's name. He did some some Disney streaming show, right? And he's sitting in his car, and they had some Rose Tico type of chick that nobody liked for some reason. I don't know. I don't remember the, the thing. And, you know, because it's probably because she's a Mary Sue. It's like, oh, she's a POC. You can't criticize her at all. Otherwise, they'll call you istophobic. So what did they do? He This, this soy boy pussy gets in his car and calls the audience who pays for Disney Plus is the phobic because they don't like a Rose Tico type of character. I don't know her name. She was a, I think she worked for the Empire or something like this. Anyway, so they're holding reviews for two days pre-film release, but it doesn't matter because the shill reviewers are going to give it a good fake review no matter what. It's got three diversity Mary Sues who are strong women with colors and oppressed and marginalized and disenfranchised and all this Frankfurt School nonsense that nobody really believes. Three diverse vaginas are not going to get bad reviews. This is the movie these soy boys say they want. It'd be like giving a, what was that Wakanda movie? Like one guy gave that Wakanda movie a bad review and I think he got threats of being deleted. Now, um, this movie's predicted to bomb. Uh, Brie Larson's giant opening is looking a little hairy, but I predict it's not going to bomb because she has this weird cat lady audience of very dedicated uh, fans who is just kind of loyal to their Melker queen. And, you know, if there's going to be a bunch of Melkers on screen, like all three of those chicks, if you kind of hoard them up a little bit, then, you know, maybe people would be more interested. In, I was going to say I'd be more inter interested in seeing it, but I can't really bring myself to pay um, to watch pretty much any movie um anyway so there are plenty of these obese coomer superhero nerds who will go watch the stupid movie because they're fans of the genre the whole thing ended with infinity war but you know what are you going to do you own the rights to these characters you pretty much are stuck in movie making mode until it becomes just obvious that it's just you're going to have to change direction so what well, here's the thing why don't you kill all the stupid diversity and use hot you know, Swedish looking girls and have the chicks as the cute sidekicks. Like go back 20, 30, 40 years where, you know, chicks were just not, this because girl power stuff was just not taken seriously. Uh, you know, it should be, it should not be taken seriously. It should, like go back to the James Bond of the 60s and 70s type of vibe. Nobody wants girl power. Captain Marvel would be better off giving her powers to a man and just staying home, raising her kids and just get rid of the other two Mary Sues, replace them with hot Swedish girls who people really want to see. The rumors are that Disney has a lack of confidence in this movie and the the advertising is is switching off. Pretty accurate because so many of their Marvel shows lately have uh yeah, that looks horrible. So many of their Marvel shows lately have uh, bombed or underperformed or you know something like that uh, cuz it, it's like the just the the shine is off the rose for for Disney, I I think. Um you would think that they would stop with the woke and just turn it around. Maybe don't make a Birds of Prey girl power movie with two sidekicks that nobody wants to see. Have you considered that? You you put these chicks in the worst costumes to, so you can't see anything. So, okay, and they're, they're obviously diverse, you know, Mary Sue's. So who's your audience for this? Who, who she, female, right? But, um, like, female don't go see these kind of action adventure superhero, you know, spandex type of movies. It's, that's a male audience. And what, what do men want to see? They want to see hot chicks, Hot young chicks, usually, but at least hot chicks in in skimpy outfits. So you're giving you're giving no you, you have no audience for this except for the the Brie Larson fans. Kind of weird. There, this is like they're, we're gonna make a Birds of Prey power movie with two sidekicks that nobody wants to see. I said, but Birds of Prey didn't didn't do well. I don't think. Why why would you? And you know how well did the Elizabeth Banks movie Charlie's Angels do? How well did uh, the last X-Men movie do? And how well did the Terminator movie do? And how well did Ghostbusters movie do? And I'm sure there's a dozen other movies where they try to do this woke girl power stuff and it's like, oh, well, the audience just didn't come turn out for the movie, but we'll just try harder next time. But I mean, you're losing like $20 million every time you do this. You guys just must be made of money to be able to kind of, to you know, burn this kind of capital. Yeah, it's other people's money. <laughs> I'm like, why are they? Oh, it's like, Probably, you know, those um, institutional investors. I probably shouldn't be naming their names too often. You know, Larry Fink, BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard, all that kind of stuff. <coughs> anyway, what you should do, you got Brie Larson. She's got a good body. Put her in a short skirt and a low-cut top and push those milkers up. All three chicks. 
all three chicks. You just want to whore them up as much as possible. And like I said, you really want to swap out the other two chicks for for um, a beautiful Irish redhead and a, a, a maybe, a, I don't know, an English English girl, uh, blonde hair, blue eyes. So I don't know, more blue and green eyes is what I'm, I'm trying to carefully say for the algorithm because this kind of stuff just doesn't sell. And I know it's not politically correct to say that, whatever. It's just, I'm just saying what people feel. It's like these are all just, you know... It's, um, I'm just saying what people think and, and they're, they're just like too nice to say, but you really got to kind of start saying this stuff. So you, you get better movies. Um, anyway, short skirts, low cut tops, um, have them let just play like the silly women that like most people are on board with, like pretend you're just throwing back to the nineties, the eighties. Where, where we didn't take all this stuff seriously. Cause most people don't take girl power seriously. Cause like most people, because, um, anyway, Anyway, um, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks to uh, thanks to Nature who made a uh, got me the computer for the live stream. I'm gonna be investigating, learning all about video cards today, and I'll be get that computer, and I'll start live streaming. So, uh, so you're gonna get kicked off of YouTube your first live stream. Yeah, I'm gonna need a delay button. So when I advocate um, humorous hyperbole, I can I can just bleep that out. You threaten to nuke a whole country, uh, but yeah, but I I don't really have access to to those kind of things. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next episode.